Were you guys aware that there is a new patent out there that has been patented under a man who is going to connect it to Disney World as well as the Catholic Church that is dealing with acoustics underwater to control wind above water? You heard me right. Now, this is also listed as a weather modification patent. Now, the purpose of it is to send acoustical waves through the water, therefore creating sound waves that come up out the water to either move a hurricane or control atmospheric rivers. Hmm. So why do I care about that? Well, as I dug into these fires in California, I keep seeing videos like this of extreme wind. That's what I keep hearing, right? Sam, have you seen the extreme wind? Well, I have. And I have also seen this in Maui and in Chile. There was extreme wind events both times with the fires. So when you're dealing with weather modification patents to control acoustical sound waves underwater to control atmospheric rivers above water and wind, you have to wonder, could that technology be applied in a way that would say stir up a fire? Because it's not just me saying this, people are going all the way back to the Paradise Fires and they're looking at how the Paradise Fires fit in with current fires that are happening in California right now. Watch this. 631 people are missing and over 13,000 homes have been completely destroyed by the strange fire in Paradise, California. Oh my God. More than half of this damage occurred within the first four hours. You said that your outbuildings... Wait, your first four hours, like 13,000 houses were burned? That's, that doesn't seem very natural to me. You and your house and the houses house around it. And the houses around you all started to burn at once. How is that um, possible? I know that uh, all my stuff started to burn at once, and then my neighbor right across the street, dozens of fires sprang up all around me and below me without, you know, they're, they're far in front of the fire line without any falling burning embers. Completely ignored by the mainstream media, the anomalous nature of this fire is being reported on by only a few independent journalists. Is that some sort of like an energy energy beam that they're using, like which is not visible to our eyes? It kind of just creates a massive amount of heat in like a particular location and then everything starts burning because they are saying that they can't really see the fire like catching on. It's just like it's naturally happening. We don't know where the fire is coming from, but then there is like massive amount of fire that's just burning everything in its way. So what if there is some sort of an energy beam or energy uh, weapon that's like all the way up there in the air that's just pointing towards particular locations that's like burning completely, you know, everything's just gets burnt down. That could be possible. That Nations, could be a very possible only stuff. Only a foot off the ground. We're all completely warped, bent and mangled. Every car and truck was completely torched. Every single rubber tire was burned into oblivion, and all that remained was the steel belt system from within. Shit, dude. The temperatures were hot enough to melt aluminum. They were hot enough to melt glass. And they were hot enough to decimate every single last thing inside the home. That is not natural fire. Now, now I just feel like it's, it's definitely an energy weapon that's being used against us. It Which could makes happen these to fires everyone. At least three times hotter than your average house fire, and yet some things were inexplicably untouched by the super intense heat. Pristine carports with torched automobiles beneath them, next to homes completely burned to ash. Plastic trash cans untouched. The firemen observed that plastics attached to metal completely melted, while plastics by themselves seemed to somehow survive what must have been extraordinary heat. How does the glass, aluminium, and all that stuff just burn? And plastic just, <laughs> it's just bent. Look at that stuff. It, it just looks like it's bent. That's it. And their entire house is burned down, but then the plastic is just bent. So as I'm watching the Palisade fire this morning, from an aerial view, I start to notice a couple of things. 
right? Like you can't help but notice. Look at this. First off, like all the houses are burned, right? Looks like ash. But you notice there are trees still standing between these houses and around these houses. Now, I've not seen any close-ups, so I can't tell if there's any plastics, you know, or blue objects left. But I think that we really need to consider that weather modification and manipulation are being applied to stoke up and really spin these fires into firestorms. Like, that is what that 1970s paper that I brought up to you guys in three other videos was basically saying. We need to get the fires to a point where they're spinning off firestorms and basically small tornadoes so that it's so hot the fires just won't stop. Like that is what the government was trying to figure out how to do in 1970 with this top secret paper. You can't deny fact, folks. This is what they were doing. The Department of Defense, the military, and the Forestry Department. Like, is that their job? Seriously? That's your job? To figure out how to make really hot forest fires? Well, kudos to you. You've done a great job with that. Now, something else that I found. I found this video. At first, I thought it was so weird. I'm like, what is this guy trying to show me? And then I watched it twice and I saw it. You have to wait to the end of this little clip and you're going to see exactly what he's talking about may have been what actually started these fires. Smallest details. That looked like a glowing orb shooting down what looked like to be a laser to me and then the fire starting so i think we need to take into consideration that we now know that there is anti-gravity technology used with orbs both the u.s and china have that capability we know that there is the paradise forever california forever deal that they've been trying to push through for years now to turn that whole section either into a 15 minute city or the 30 by 30 plans that Biden just loves and has been trying to push through in America before 2030. So you take that, you add in the weather manipulation, weather modification, wind patents that I just showed you, you put it all together and what do you have? You got it. You've got a massive scale fire in a highly populated area where a whole bunch of fire hydrants were stolen, not replaced. The water in the reservoirs was used and not replaced. The mayor was going to Africa. She's also been to Cuba like 18 times in the past 10 years. But hey, nothing to see here, folks. Just go back to sleep and evacuate your homes. So God bless you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video because the truth has to get out.